Just to let you know, I've been working way too hard on my artwork. On the uh, internet, I noticed that there was a banana stuck to a wall with duct tape, and some idiot paid $180,000 for it as a work of art. And I got to thinking, I wonder how long that banana's going to last before it goes completely black and rot and moldy and all that other stuff. Anyway, that's my banana on a wall. If anybody out there has 180 bucks they want to part with, I'd be glad to sell it to them. Uh, right now I'm having a great desire to peel that banana and eat it. All right. Time to play with some clay. That banana is really good. <laughs> Hundred eighty thousand for a banana. Well, as you can see from the uh, side camera, I've got my uh, reference from my mannequin that I got at uh, anatomytools.com and I'm using it to uh, be a reference for the eyes and stuff like that. Alright, I'll come back after I get started on the eyes and uh, show you my progress. Now I had to spend quite a bit of time on these eyes. I had to line them up and space them perfectly so that uh, one eye isn't out further than the other eye. That they're both even. And then uh, I'm trying to also put a smile on his face without making it a ridiculous smile. Just a uh, hint of a knowing smile let me tell you that's not easy to do either <laughs> I read several descriptions of uh, Jesus by people who actually met him and uh, or who talked to people who did meet him and uh, it turns out he was tall and lanky uh, in stature. He wasn't overly muscular and he had a not a long beard, but a short beard. So basically I was getting that part just about right, which uh, surprised me. I'm having to wear my magnifiers to do this. And uh, my fingers are numb. These uh, these fingers here, these the thumb and the forefinger, and this finger is almost numb. But this one and this one are stingingly numb, and so it makes it hard to do uh, delicate work because it hurts. I put eyebrows on them. I don't know whether I like that yet. So I may change that. So this is uh, where I'm at right now.
he's looking to one side like he's looking at somebody and talking to him. I kind of like that. I don't like straight on portraits. They're too stiff. I'm thinking he's got a gentle face now. That's what I've been trying to get. I didn't want a harsh face. I wanted no anger in his face at all. I got him a little too gaunt right here. So I'm going to try to bring this out a little bit more. I didn't hear anything about them starving almost while they were going from village to village and talking to people. probably was well enough known that people offered him food and lodging if he, if he wanted it. I don't know. I wasn't there. I want his face to have character. I kind of want somebody that you'd want to stand and listen to. Because he's got a look in his face that calms you. <clears throat> the house turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the face. 
Uh, it looks good on a, on his shoulders. It doesn't look too big. His face looks gentle. Doesn't look harsh. He looks like he's in his 30s. You got to remember back then that uh, was just about at the end of their lifespan. A lot of those people. And uh, they showed a little more age in their face by that time than we do today because there was a lot of stress, a lot of uh, harsh work out in the weather and, and uh, Christ would have probably spent a lot of his time outside walking in the harsh sun and in the wind and dust storms and things like that. And you got to realize he, he spent 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness uh, fasting. So that would have taken a toll on his uh, anatomy as well. All right, I'll be back uh, next time and uh, work some more on I Am The Way. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.